Aftermath set with a new card here, Urborg Scavengers. This is a card that I think is going to help decks like this a pretty significant amount. So for those of you who aren't familiar, this is trying to utilize Delve Creatures in combination with Neoform, because you sacrifice the Delve Creature and that goes and get the Traxa. But this deck kind of has a different, like an additional angle of attack as well. So you can you have Soul Flare, which is a card that whenever you delve using a creature, the Soul Flare gains the abilities of the creature that you delved with. So particularly powerful with Zatalpa, because it has five different abilities. And the other new addition here in Urborg Scavengers, so what this card does, it's it's a 2-2. Whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, you exile a card from a graveyard and put a counter on it. And then similar to Soul Flayer, it has the abilities of all of the cards, abilities of the card that is exiled with it. So if you exile Zatalpa, it would be a 3-3 with Flying Double Strike, Vigilance, Trample, Indestructible. So it's not necessarily... The my only issue with Urborg Scavengers is it doesn't it doesn't give you an additional angle of attack like Glissa does that doesn't utilize the graveyard. You still need to have stuff in the graveyard with it, which is a little awkward. Um, but it gives you some you know like if you're not doing the Soul Flayer, if, like if you don't have a Delve creature, you can do some stuff with Scavengers. And then the rest of the deck is you know the graveyard enablers like Otherworldly Gaze, Grizzly Salvage, and Founding the Third Path, and then interaction in the form of Stubborn Denial and Thoughtseize. Particularly important to have one mana interaction, because when you Neoform a Trax into play, if you have one mana left over, you can hit stuff like Thoughtseize and Stubborn Denial and still have that interaction up. So let's see how good or bad or a Bork Scavenger is. I don't know. We'll just chat think about it. Yeah, I know. I love the art, by the way. This uh, alternate art, what a banger. Yeah, that's the nice thing about Scavenger, too. It's like, you can eat their, you can eat their graveyard, too. So if you're on the play against Grease Fang and they go turn two Rafines and form a discard Barhelion, you can just get it with the Scavengers. So yeah, all right, <laughs> it is pretty good. A really nice thing about Scavengers too is it just says exile target card, and regardless of whether that card was a creature or not, you still get the counter. No, I'm not playing any of the Hexproof guys. Uh, this one has Indestructible. I think the list that Mason posted had two copies of Strike Riverwinder but I decided to cut those for more copies of Zatalpa because, like, if you play an Urborg Scavengers and you make a 3-3 Hexproof, like, that's just not that good. You know, you need to be doing a little bit more than just making a 3-3 or 4-4 Hexproof. So I think the, the fact that just maxing out on Zatalpa is a lot better when you have the four Scavengers. No, because it specifies... Um... Oh, it does say... We're going to find out how our Modern Green matchup is. I sort of agree with you that Otherworldly Gaze is not a great card, but I just think you have to play it. Like, you need one-drop enablers. Like, it just is what it is, you know? It's it's the worst enabler, but it is an enabler. Third Path has been the best card to me in attracts a Neoform. Yeah, that makes sense. It, it is pretty good. Speaking of which... Eh, it's kind of awkward with this hand, right? I can't if I top the founding, I can't play either of these, so I think I just graveyard these two and keep the salvage. Because the salvage gives me five looks at a delve creature. Sounds good, JS. Can't counter a karma stub if they have it, but we got a final. Well, good luck, JS. Hope you kill it, buddy. Mm. They're gonna get Tormod's Crypt, aren't they? They sure are. That is unfortunate. Be shocked if they get anything but crypt. Yeah. Uh, how do I even play through that? That's how I play through that. <laughs> okay, that was really bad. Why the hell did they do that? Yeah, I guess we win. I didn't think this was going to happen, but sure. That's kind of weird, champ. Uh, I guess they can car they can carn for the stupid wand. I mean, I don't have a choice, right? Is there any world where I just don't play the neoform and hold up stub? Surely that can't be the play, right? I mean, it could be, but that's pretty bad if they just play like a cav, because the tasker can't get past the cav next turn. Attracts is good if they play a big creature next turn. But, well, here's the thing, right? If I Atraxa, and their whole turn is main phase wand activate i can likely just find a scavengers off of the atraxa I, th I think it's fine to atraxa i'm just gonna do it 
I think I think it's fine. Like it's not even the end of the world. Teo Master or Teo Master, thank you for the four months. Appreciate the support. Get instant creature or sorcery land, which is nice because I can go to discard. We did not hit oh, we hit a soul flare, that's good, so. Um Ha. Huh. I guess the issue is I can't take Soul Flare and Zatalpa. So I guess I take Flare, discard Atraxa, and then Soul Flare would be 4-4, four, four, Flying Vich, Death, Death Touch, Lifelink. I can get Neoform, but I don't have a second, I don't have a third Atraxa. So I guess we go th Sorcery, Creature, Instant, Land, Done, and then End Step, discard Atraxa. Should we play a third attracts in this deck? How many do the how many attractions do the normal um the normal Neoform decks play? The ones without Soul Flare. We maybe should be playing a third. Yeah, so they have to wand here. They still have an elf to chump block to. Which can protect the Karn for a turn. But I mean our follow-up is pretty good, right? Thought sees you, play a 4-4, four, four, and then hold up stub. Like our follow-up is really good. Trade as a Tulpa for an Atraxa. I really wanted to play four Zatalpas because you have four Soul Flare and four Scavenger. So I don't think cutting a Zatalpa is right. Like, it's so it's so good with the Soul Flare Scavenger stuff. So I think you might have to cut something else. Like, maybe we can cut the eighth Delf creature. Because we have four Soul Flare, three Tassiger, one Hooting Mandrills. Maybe we can cut a Mandrills. They got the Stone Brain? I guess they really want to get the Soul Flare. Why wouldn't they just kill the Atraxa? I'm confused. No, they well they I thought they were gonna get Transmogrifying Wand and kill the Atraxa, and then chump block the two for it, but they chose to get the Stone Brain instead of the Wand, which is very confusing. I don't really understand that. Maybe they just don't have the wand in their sideboard? I know some people have cut it. Edger Tassiger. <clears throat> they need six. No, the wand costs three and it's one to activate. I know for a fact they don't need six mana. It's three to play, one to activate. All right, well. I guess we win. I don't think we'd get here, but... Weird game. Uh, Let's play... Let's otherworldly gaze main phase. Perfect. Doing this main phase so I can go delve creature plus hold up stub. Uh, one, two, three, four. I guess I don't need to keep both creatures in the graveyard. And keep the gaze. No, I do want to keep both creatures, actually. Because then the scavengers can eat both of them. Yeah. Was Crypt a throw? If they hold, you just untap and play a Delve dude. Yeah, but then I can't Neoform. <laughs> if they, like... It, see, the thing is, if they, hold, if they hold up the Crypt, I'm in such an awkward spot because I can't cast the Grizzly Salvage because if I commit more to the graveyard, they pop it and I lose everything. I guess my only play was like end step otherworldly gaze, force the crypt, but that just time walks me, you know? I guess they didn't know about the Grizzly Salvage, but yeah, I guess to be fair, they didn't know that I had salvage, but they could maybe kind of assume that I did. It's close. But I think I think they're supposed to wait. Because with three cards in graveyard and three lands, yes, I can tap out for a Delve creature, but I'm not casting Neoform that turn. Main phase salvage delve creature. Right, but the whole point is that I'm not casting Neoform that turn. <laughs> That's the whole point that we're trying to make here. It's like they don't care if I main phase tap out for a delve creature as long as I'm not casting a Neoform, right? Three three, double strike, flying, indestructible, trample, vigilance. That's kinda cool. And then we'll have Death Touch off the Atraxa. Not gonna counter that. Trample from Troll. Uh we already have trample. The Zatalpa has trample. So, the Scavengers card's pretty cool, huh? I like it a lot. This card's sweet. So we now have a 4-4. Four, four, Death Touch, Double Strike, Flying, Indestructible, Lifelink, Trample, Vigilance. Is that good? Somebody tell me if that's good. It's not bad. Yeah, the art's also incredible. Get back Karn. Don't they know I have Stub? Also, I'm at 45, by the way. Can we talk about that? I'm at 45, Keck W. Miss Lethal. Oh, right. I could have just bounced with uh, Odawara. I'm dumb. Yeah, I could have bounced with Odawara. I forgot about the Odawara. I don't think it matters, but... Alright. Game two. What are we doing in screen? Um... Hmm... 
Definitely don't want any of this stuff. Definitely don't want this. Definitely don't want the rays. These are all, like, kind of reasonable. I think I'm not going to bring in Fatal Push, because I like Thoughtseize stub his cheap interaction better. So these are all considerations. What do we cut against them is the question. Hmm. That is a really good question. I'm not really sure. This might be a matchup where we want to shave on Scavengers, because it might be, like, three mana just a little bit too slow. I know, again, cutting new cards, but I think Founding seems slow. We could shave on Founding. We could shave, like... Two, I gotta keep the good scavengers. We could shave like two scavengers, a founding, and a gaze, maybe. Bring in Gust, Thoughtseize, Needle. Does that make sense? I think Needle's one of my best cards, because name Karn is Karn is the card you care about the most. I could also shave as a Talpa if I'm cutting a lot of the scavengers. That might be fine. Bring the founding back in. I think I'd rather have the founding over the gaze. I think that. I think I would. It's close though. The haste cards that people used to play with Soul Flare. Um, I think the most common ones were Questing Beast and Samut the Tested. Of those, I think Questing Beast is probably better because it's more castable. I'm not sure you really need haste, though, you know. But it could be, like, it's particularly good with Scavengers because you can go Scavengers, get the haste guy on the first go around, attack, and then get the bigger guy on the second go around. So that is kind of sick. That's kind of cool. Maybe there's a build of this that just doesn't play Neoform, and it's kind of all in on just Scavenger Soul Flare. Maybe that's a better approach. But, I don't know, like, Atraxa's so messed up. <laughs> it's really hard to not play Atraxa. Card's way too good. Hold on, how does how does the chat look if I hide this color block? No, that's worse. Neoform of Scavengers into Beast. Yeah, if you played the one questing Beast. I was thinking about playing a main deck Shieldred. <laughs> for those weird spots where you have, like, Scavenger but no Graveyard, and then you just Scavenger Neoform into Shieldred. I don't know if that's good, but it is a plan. It is one of the plans. Well, bluff a little stubby D. Oh yeah, Chromanticore. I always forget about Chromanticore. This looks pretty good, Kebby. I kind of like it. Uh, we should just go Founding Salvage, right? Yeah. Select a soul flare. Your turn. It's a good point. Atrax is just good for keywords, too. DJ Sappy. Thank you for the 24 months, buddy. Appreciate you. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, I think I like scavengers here, and the next turn we can go soul flare into Neoform. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think that makes sense. It's just a, a much better use of our mana this way. DJ Calyx. I mean, that would have been absurd, right? If I had a Questing Beast in the graveyard, we go hit Questing Beast, and then second, and then on attack hits a Talpa, take, take eight. Maybe we should try a Questing Beast or two. It is kind of sick, right? Maybe it's just win more. Yeah, it might just be win more. Uh, okay... And I'm not casting a salvage from my graveyard here, right? Yeah, I'm not casting this. So let's go attack Kiora, probably. And then just put an attracts into play. I really wish I had a second Delve creature. Hmm. Not a second Delve creature. Uh, I wish I had a one mana Delve creature. So I could go Delve creature, Neoform, and Thoughtseize. I'm not convinced that I want to tap out, though. I do want to kill Kiora, so let's start there. But the, the thing is, I might... Like, I might just Soul Flare the Atraxa. No, it's still probably better to put the, the Atrax under this, right? Thoughts he's Salvage. Maybe, yeah. Definitely killing Kiora. Get the Atraxa. Alright, Kiora dies. So what happens if I Atraxa here? Get the Slam a Storm if they have a land. Yeah, all right. Let's just Thoughtseize. Let's go. With, let's go Thoughtseize Soul Flare. The the reason I put the Atrax under here is because I'm just gonna sack the the thing next turn anyways. Okay, well their hand sucks. I could salvage, I guess. I guess we could salvage main phase to try and find another a different Delve creature. You know, it's worse if we miss. Okay, maybe I should just play the uh, the Soul Flare there. I mean, it's kind of fine because next turn I have five mana, so I can still go Soul Flare Neoform and hold up a mana. 
Tyrannex Tyrant. Do you mean Tyrannex Rex? The one from All Will Be One? Okay, I don't care about that. They can flip, but it doesn't do anything, right? Has haste and... Yeah, that's true. It is a 7-drop that you can get with Neoform. It could be good. Maybe that's the haster you want to play. I should probably stop drawing these Atalpas. These okay, let's exile 6 random cards. Or 4 random cards, I should say. Uh, mistapped. Definitely mistapped. Yeah, I should have held up Watery Grave. Uh, didn't get punished. Well, kind of got punished. Creature. Enchantment. Instant. Sorcery. Land. I don't really think it matters. Let's get rid of random card. Yo, B Bomb! Thank you for the five pack. I appreciate that. B Bomb, if you got gifted or if you got gifted a sub from B Bomb, be sure to thank them in chat. And if you didn't dodge it, it's as simple as that. Thank you for the five pack, B Bomb. Greatly appreciate the support. Z Turchin, finally not finally uh finally not dodged. Dodge a lot, to be fair. Thanks again for the five pack, B Bomb. That's very nice of you. Very generous. Why are they animating layer? We're just clicking buttons. Why are we clicking buttons? Oh, because they get two three threes. Guess I could have taken that. I, I get. I don't think it matters, but uh, can I kill them? Mm, no, I don't think so. All right, I guess I shouldn't have double blocked, huh? <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have blocked. I should just taken it. <laughs> Death touch trample. Uh oh yeah, if I don't even if I don't let them block the attraction, they just added this, right? Yeah, they just added this. I think. Right, because it's twelve. Yeah, this is just lethal. Okay, this card's kind of sick though. <laughs> this card is super sick. Death Touch Trample Double Strike is a hell of a hell of a drug. Alright. Uh first strike damage. <laughs> Kill all your stuff. All right, all right. Pretty good showing from the Scavenger. Heck, this card's sick. Card is sick, yeah. It makes you wonder, like, can we just build a Scavenger deck and not and just forget the Neoform stuff? But Neoform's kind of like your way to go super degenerate, so... GG's, GG's. this back third salvage i think arena will eventually expand these cards database to include all legal pioneer cards i mean eventually yes but who who knows how long that's gonna take okay i'm asking very nicely for the love of god please do not cast thalia guardian of thraven i i accept that's fine i accept we're still probably gonna lose this game just being on the draw against humans kind of sucks but uh, we keep founding, right? Yeah, we keep founding. It's just a free roll. I could have kept the land after the founding, maybe. But I kind of really need to find Neoform, right? I'm, like, super screwed if I don't find Neoform. Uh, well, there's third land. So, Prage draw Neoform next turn, I guess. <clears throat> Alright, chat, you gotta believe. You gotta believe! Neoform, please. Are we, we're not dead this turn, are we? Three, six, eight. No, we're not dead this turn. Uh, yeah, we're not getting another turn, though. <laughs> we're, if, we don't, if we don't attract the next turn, I assume we're dead. There's like 0% chance we get two draw steps here. Yeah, scavengers wouldn't be too bad with the Atraxa. Okay, that's bad. Yeah, not gonna do it. All right, Dedge. Dedge. Okay, Mono White's kind of a tough matchup. We do have some good sideboard cards. I'm going to cut all the Thought Seizes. kind of think I want to cut the Stubs, too. Does that make sense? I guess we can keep some of this in. Because this is 59. How good is Glissa and or Shieldred against Mono White? Glissa blocks really well. Also has good keywords for Scavengers and Soul Flare. Play like one Glissa. Like, what can, what can I even Stub? Oh, you want something for rest in peace? That's a good point. You want to bring in trophy? 
Yeah, the plan could just be hope they don't cast it. Batchup's not bringing in trophies. I'm not really sure. I think it's supposed to be just a, a catch-all. Like, maybe we want him here for rest in peace, but it's just a really versatile answer, you know? There's not a specific matchup that I wanted in, but it's it's like a Swiss Army knife kind of thing where it just gets you out of weird spots. I think I'm going to shave, like, one of each of these. Founding is pretty bad against Thalia. Maybe I actually just cut all the Foundings. Keep in, like, Gaze and Second Glissa. Let's try this. Founding is horrendous against Thalia. Right, this hand's bad. Mm, hand's also bad. No green mana. I mean, I think I have to keep and hope to draw green, right? Kept seven, which means they probably have rest in peace. And if we draw green and they don't have rest in peace, the sand's not that bad. But I'm pretty sure they have it. They kept seven very, very quickly. Maybe they'll put on stub. I mean, I played Founding into Grizzly Salvage. They definitely would have brought in Rest in Peace. Yeah. Uh, I could main phase the player on Brave. I guess that's fine. Mm -mm -mm. Brutality. The problem with Brutality is it doesn't answer Rest in Peace. The one card that I, I could consider playing is... What's the uh, command? Witherbloom command? Command could be decent. That's still beatable if I find a green source. Good beats. Mold of five, bad draw, bad matchup. Good beats. Good beats when the beats are good. Not much I can do about that. Two lands by opening hand. I mean, I guess, right? I don't think I need three gazes. You can hope we can just pray that this finds us black mana. Did I try vampire build with the new lord? I did. I did try a vampire build with the new lord. It was okay. Uh, the one problem is, and this just might be the way that I built my deck, I lost to Rakdos twice, and none of the games felt remotely close. And I think it's mostly because, like, the way that I built my deck, I just built it as a worse Rakdos deck. That's the issue, right? I took Stub. Uh, well, I guess I can Founding. I can Founding Salvage. But I'm still missing Black Source and Delph Creature. I think that's better than, like, you know what I mean? It's better than hoping to hit, right? Because this is guaranteed Salvage. Uh, could take... Ooh, man, this is close, actually. Huh. I could take Scavengers and hope to peel a Black Source. We're going to play Humans later today. Is that a better plan? So how many Black Sources do I have total? Let's look at the deck list. Let's run some, let's run some quick Frank Karsten numbers. 3, 7, 11, 13, 17. And there's 2 in the pile, so it's 15... So take this and have a 15-outer, or take this and have a 4-outer? Like, I'm just going to take the Scavengers, right? <clears throat> Let's see what Evan sent. Vampires! Oh, yeah, people... Chat was suggesting Asylum Visitor, which I kind of like. I don't know how I feel about Gorger. I do like Silver Smote if you're going to play Soren, so that makes sense. I think you're still missing the... I think you want to play a 5-drop. I think you definitely want to play some number of... What's the five drop that draws cards? Champion of Dusk? I think... Oh, that's not what I expected. I think you definitely want to be on some champions. Oh, well. <laughs> fuck me, I guess. <laughs> I'm not going to mill you. Uh, I just have no shot this game, right? Yeah, we are just drawing dead. Do I think Knights has any chance taking off? There's two two mana lords, one three mana, one four mana. Uh, well, three and four mana lords aren't really where you want to be. I think evolution. I think, like, the maybe the big payoff for knights is the invasion, but that card's also painfully slow, so I'm just I'm just not sold on it. What's my plan here? Uh, I don't really have a plan. I think plan might be cast gaze from hand, and then I can founding into a gaze. I need to find a land. Um... Okay, this kind of works, right? So we go... I could also keep both lands. 
Oh, they're going to flashback Thoughtseize, though. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Well, in that case, what if I go here, top, top, untap, target gaze. I guess this is pointless, right? I could have just flashed it back. Maybe I'm supposed to keep another land. I don't know. Can't trip there. Yeah, consider would have been nice. Yeah, the issue with this is they just flashback thoughtsies. <laughs> Everybody's always anti otherworldly gaze. People hate that card. I mean, look, it's not great. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you the card's fantastic. It's. It's. Uh. It's kind of sketchy, but. It just, it is what it is. I think you need to play some sort of one mana enabler, you know? Yeah, but consider is, like, the thing about Otherworldly Gaze is if you don't have any other enabler, if you just have Gaze plus Delve Creature, Gaze by itself sets you up for turn three Delve Neoform, and that's the important part. So, like, it's not, it's not a good card, but it fills a very important role, and I think that's why it's worth playing. Have any Neoforms left? I have two in the graveyard. All right, we can go Gaze EOT... Try and find the Neoform. Or the Scavengers might be good enough. Depends on what their leftovers are. Yeah, Benelia's decent too. Benelia's not too bad. Okay, I don't know what's in their hand. I guess a lot of reactive cards, Thoughtseize and Stubs. They probably stub this, right? Yep. I mean, all things considered, that's not a horrendous draw. Classic Popper Maneuver. Do people do that in Popper? I remember when I used to exude Little Box Crusher, back when I used to play Popper. That shit was so much fun. Black, green. What are we doing? Brutality? Um, What are they choosing? Reveal and lose two, gain two. So I guess I don't want to lose two. It seems like they're just bricking off. We unironically could still win this game. Uh, no reason to cast that now. I would guess that their last card is Neoform, and they're just looking for a Delve creature. Could also be Stub. Okay, main phase Gaze. That's fine. They might do something next turn. Yeah, Lamb would have been decent too. I could have just activated Tassiger. Although, they just give me back... They give me back Founding. No, they just give me back this, right? Glaze Fiend. Wait, they put a Haste card in the graveyard. Yo, Scavengers is lethal now. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> they put a haste card in the graveyard. I, Curiosity, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Greatly appreciate that. They're going to gaze in response. You got it. I really hope we hit we hit, we hit Scavengers to kill them with the Rex. That would be so funny. Yeah, the Gliz Fiend. The Glizussy. Please don't repeat that. All right. Well, uh, there's the Scavengers. I guess I'll flashback gaze, because why not? Uh, graveyard, graveyard, top. We even get to kill them with the funny scavengers. The one that looks way cooler. Target your Tyranax Rex. <laughs> I would like a hasty scavengers, please. Uh, this is so funny. Somebody clip this. Just killing them with their own Tyranax Rex. Hey, chat, do you think we should put Tyranex Rex in our deck? What do you think? What do you think, chat? I think it's a good idea. It seemed good, at, it seemed good that game. That was awesome. I am creating the content. The content has been created. Yeah, it's bad in the mirror. Clearly bad in the mirror. What's Kaido for? The grindy matchups. Unironically, it is for the grindy matchups. I'm, I'm, I know I, like, I'm, I'm not joking. I say that. What do we even want this matchup? Uh, Leyland of the Voids that are in the Trade Binder. There's not a lot here, right? Like, we don't want to bring in the grindy stuff. I don't think. It's too slow. Fatal Push is heinous. Needle's bad. Ray does nothing. Gust is, like, kind of fine. Trophy, I think, is a losing battle, because if you're trophying a Traxa, you just lose to the trigger anyways, so... I think these cards are reasonable. Italian guy, what's up, buddy? I'll see you in a minute. Got a song request. Can I play this on Spotify is the question. Uh, 
I don't think so. All right, let's play it here. Close some of these tabs. Ding. All right, song request from Italian guy. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. The mic. I don't know if cutting founding is right. Let's 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 keep two foundings. <clears throat> no, I didn't know they came up with new stuff. What the hell? What the hell? When did they come up with new stuff? How did I miss this? Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to have to listen to that at some point today. Weeb alert. Weeb alert. Weeb alert. I checked the tour dates, and unfortunately, they're not really coming anywhere close to me. But that tour would be so good to go see. This hand's bad, right? Uh, Yeah, this hand's bad. I mean, I guess we keep... All right, thank you for the song request, Italian guy. All right, I'm going to put these songs in the queue because I want to listen to the new, like, Master Flames. Uh, go. Where's the Juicy J? <laughs> this hand's fine. This, this hand's not that bad. I'm okay with it. Founding the third path. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so they're going Chicago, Denver, Atlanta, Madison, Baltimore, Philadelphia, Canada, Canada, Albany, and San Antonio, which is, like, nowhere near me, you know? So it kind of sucks, but uh, they're just doing that. I guess I'll do this in response. Okay, now where do we go? Hmm. It's really awkward that Zatalpa is in our hand, and we also have one on the bottom of our library, so it's not very likely that we're going to hit it for scavengers. But if they collect a brutality in my salvage, I kind of... God, this is rough, right? Okay, flashback gaze next turn. This is bad. I think keeping the stub is pretty bad, right? Okay, let's do this. Let's go bin bin top. I don't know if that's right, but... Yo, this song is fucking nuts, by the way. Holy shit. Connor B, I thank you for the 28 months, buddy. Dude, this... What is this song right now? Bro, what is this song? They let me with salvage? Oh, because they're gonna attract some me. Never mind, no deal. And I'm so sad that they're not gonna be coming to my anywhere close to me for the tour. I would I would kill to go see that tour. Whoa, 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 whoa. Vinny, come on, come on, Vinny. What are we what are we doing here? Well, I guess I should have kept that uh stubborn denial, huh? Hmm. Guess I should have kept that stubborn denial. Seen the lineup for Blue Ridge Rockfest? No, I haven't seen that. What's the what's the headliners? Oh, they got the Rex? Hey, yo. We can beat that. We can actually beat that, I think. <laughs> Literally everyone. Okay, well I was hoping to hit his Atalpa. Although we don't have we don't have Death Touch from the Atraxa, so. Yeah, not the best Grizzly Salvage that I've ever seen. Not the best. Not the best. Mm, I don't think I have any outs. I can flashback gaze. I can flashback gaze and hit. Mm, no, I guess it doesn't even work. Yeah, we actually have no outs, right? Because we can't we can't scavengers into Atraxa and Zatalpa. Because we would need both of them under the scavengers to contest the Rex. So I don't think we have any outs. This song, this song goes hard, man. God damn. Am I just counter this? They definitely have stub if they're tanking on this. Definitely have stub. Okay. Alright, no outs. Didge. Didge, didge, didge. Okay, let's let's just get all these gazes. This this card is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> we can keep one, sure, that's fine. But yeah, I agree. Founding is just too good to cut. How did the four color elementals list you have on your stream deck work out, by the way? I think we 3 2 that league. Um, I kind of want to try to rebuild that deck with Nissa, because I think Nissa is a really good addition. How good is the new Nissa? Speaking of which, I think it's really good. It's not as good in Pioneer, because the only true fetch land you have is Fable Passage. So, this hand's busted. Yeah, the Aftermath Nissa. Dude, this fly is back. I mean, I guess we did give the fly a sub yesterday, so... Just always begging for more subs. That damn fly. Look, I'm not the one asking for subs. It's the fly, okay? We just take founding? Oh, well, certainly, right? Mm, I guess they can stub our founding. What if we just take stub? Yeah. 
I'll take stub. I don't know if that's right, but... Drax a Cyborg Rex or Straight Rex. They had both game one, I think. That is an interesting draw. Now I kind of want to just go Founding Thoughtseize. Take their, take their Founding. And then we can Salvage into a land next turn. Yeah, I like that. I just want to take their, their Founding. Okay, they can Planning as much as they want. I would like to just draw land so we can hold up Gust. Well, we can stub too, so it's fine, but drawing a land would be nice. <clears throat> so we can just hold everything up. That was their draw step. They can planning find a Delve creature, and they do have Neoform next turn, but we again, if we go for it, we have two answers. Mill myself. Drew and lands, that's not too bad. So let me just hold everything up. I'm, I'm working out of curiosity. I'm not sure exactly what I want the list to look like. If you want an idea, I built a sketch earlier today. Killed the fly, by the way. F's and chat for the fly. Uh, what did I call it? I called it something Omnath. So I was thinking about... This was an idea that I actually got from somebody in the Discord, Salty Saint Nick. But the idea here is you have Omnath and Nyssa to generate mana from Landfall. And then the mana you get off of Omnath is particularly powerful with Invasion of Call Time. Because you just get a bunch of extra mana and you get to Invasion while still having all of your mana left over. So this is kind of like sim something that I kind of want to try. I don't know if it's going to exactly look like this, but this is what I was thinking about. I haven't built the mana base yet. Um, what if I stub this? Is this bait? I feel like I'm getting jebaited. I'm going to just let them have this. Yeah, I'm going to let them have this. Well, that's one of the versions. I think there is a potential version that you could like be more elemental focused with Reef, Voice, Nissa. The problem is Nissa does not trigger... Uh, no, hold on. This is not an... Is this element? I forget. Yeah, Nissa does not trigger Risen Reef. That's the issue. Okay, let's salvage. Um, There's no point in taking Soul Flare, right? Might as well take Mandrills. And then we will stub this. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to salvage first. So they played this. We know they have Neoform Odawara. So I guess we go flashback Thoughties and play Hooting Mandrills, then hold up Aethergust. I think that's good. Could have flashback Salvage, but. Okay, well, nice Thoughties. Uh, let's go. One, um, do this. Play Tent. They have two lands and a Neoform. What's up, Snack Bar? Booked your flight and ticket for LEC Athens. When is that, by the way? Because Dallas is the first weekend of June. I don't know when, like, how, how far apart they are. I know they're not on the same weekend, but... So they're probably going to EOT the Odawara. June die. Oh, so it's the weekend after. Well, I didn't have mana up to Gaze. I could have Gazed Upkeep, I guess. But Gaze Upkeep is worse if I, if I draw Soul Flare, because then I can't go Gust plus Soul Flare, right? I think I'd rather wait till EOT. I guess it would have been better if I hit, uh, like, a one-mana Delve creature. I'll keep the Salvage. I think Salvage is a good draw step. Hit Shore and Confluence up. Oh, right, because I held up Gust. Okay, you're right. My bad, my bad. I did hold up Gust that turn. You're correct. It's fine to wait. I mean, I should have cast, obviously, but it's not that big of a deal. So they still have Neo Neoform Odawara. Okay. EOT. Mm -mm -mm. Green, black, salvage. Looking for. Yeah, that is good enough. Tap. Would have preferred a soul flare, but. So they go to seven, we play Tassigre. Just cast you delve cards too, even if they bounce this turn. Tassigre! Uh, one, two, three, four, five. No, I kind of want the Thoughties back. I'll just get the second salvage. What's up, Donkin? Donkin says, hey, Doom, long time no see. What's Factor? What does it mean to Prime Sub? Well, you see, Factor, for those of you who are unaware, is a meal delivery service. They are very convenient, and if you want to give them a shot, you can type exclamation point Factor and get a link and a code for 50% off of your first box. 
And Prime Sub, which I don't know if you knew this, but if you have an Amazon Prime account, you get one free Twitch Prime subscription per month to any streamer of your choice. It doesn't cost you anything with that Prime account. So if you have an Amazon Prime account, make sure you're utilizing your free Prime Sub. Thank you for the shill reminder. I appreciate that, Duncan. Okay. So they're going to Dio for him, and we're going to Gust. Yeah, I know, right? Free? No way! But it real. Real and true, I promise. So if they cast Neoform, I'll Gust. If they don't cast Neoform, I'll Odawara. Okay, Neoform's their last card. It appears they're not going to cast Neoform. They can activate Tassiger, but that's fine. I'll likely give them back Thoughtseize. Mm. What if I give them back Founding? We know their last card's Neoform. Does Founding matter? No, Founding does matter because they can get they can flash back Neoform. I could give them Gaze, but they can cast it EOT. Thoughtseize is bad because they just go Thoughtseize my Gust and then resolve Neoform. I guess second Neoform is fine. Yeah, that's that's probably fine, right? Yeah, yeah. I know I have Gust, but I'm just trying to think of like worst case scenario where they like draw second Delve creature. Do I have haste? Oh haste! Not like this. Um, attack. E4. So I can't go Scavengers, Tassiger, and hold up Gust. I think I'm just going to play Scavengers. What if I just eat... Mm, say eat one of their cards? No. Alright, eat Zatalpa. Go. Mm -hmm. Cube opponent played him and Omnath in a deck that wasted an Nessian <laughs> staged. Brennan, they're just living their best life, okay? It got by stub now. True. That's a good point. That is that is a very fair point. Can I not just let the Can I just not let the Neoform resolve? Or that gust the Atraxa? Yeah, I didn't think about stub, but you're right. I should I should have played the Tassiger. Look, I just wanted to play new cards, alright? Just let me <laughs> I just I just want to make the scavengers feel like they're they're wanted, you know? Like look at this little guy. Come on. You gotta cast him at some point. He needs to be loved too, alright? Look at this, look at this guy. We gotta show him some affection. Alright, please don't stub me. Don't punish me. We'll simply not get punished. Had you considered not getting punished? Did you did you think about that, chat? <laughs> what if you just don't get punished? It's really that easy. Yeah, it goes crazy. Gigantha. The sand go the sand's pretty good, right? Yeah, good enough. Yeah, another scavenger dub. I mean, probably would have would have been a dub if I just played uh if I just played Tassiger, but you know. Mm, do you wanna keep a land? Kind of No, because we can salvage into a land, right? Yeah, let's just graveyard all three looking for Neo for him. Let's just go brazy. This might be a little too greedy, but... This playlist is kind of going hard today. I like it a lot. Alright, well, land acquired. Mill the Neo for him, which is unfortunate. The land base and general cards for Is It Phoenix and Is It Prowess, what do you think I should play? Um, I think Phoenix is a better deck than Prowess, but I, if you have the Izzet lands, I would recommend taking a look at the 8 Pyromancer deck. I'm a big fan of that deck. So, can I, I can double Tassiker and leave the Neoform in the graveyard, right? Because I have 13 cards, I only need 10. So I can go Tassiker, Tassiker, hold up Stub for Binding. Seems like a good line, right? What three cards am I keeping in the graveyard? Probably Neoform in the two fatties in case I find Scavenger. Oh, right. Tasker's legendary. I'm an idiot. <laughs> right. I shouldn't do that. You're right. <laughs> I always forget that. Uh, okay. Never mind. I, I overcooked a little bit. <laughs> Chad, I overcooked. It's fine. All right. Cooked a little too much. All right. I guess we'll just go Tasker past then. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, we can just task or hold up everything. Did I play a Shadow Deck in 2019? What if I said no? Would you believe me? You probably would believe me. Neoform of the Two Fatties. That is a good band name. Alright, please cast a non-creature spell that is not Slaughter Games. 
All right, beats. I did ask nicely. I said please. But that's the nice thing about this, is we can still win very easily with um, scavengers. Very, very easily. Let's gaze from the graveyard. Thoughtsy is nice, too. Uh, definitely don't need the Atraxa, because we have no more Neoforms. I will keep Thoughtsies, though. Oh, I could have been the Thoughtsies, and then just cast the Thoughtsies off the Founding. I guess that was probably better. Or I could have upkeeped Gaze. I don't have an upkeep stop. I need to remember to put an upkeep stop. I could salvage and try to hope to find an untapped land. Or if I find Scavengers, just hold up Stub. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, well, I found a tap land. I mean, we don't need to Thought Tease because I have Stub for BTL. So it's, like, kind of fine. Could have taken a second Hooting Mandrills, but then I, you know, can't cast it this turn and kind of just want to stub. Well, I can't stub that, can I? <laughs> Shit. Stop! Stop! If they hit Abrupt Decay, Abrupt Decay for his Mari Command, that's it. Nice deck. Nice Mole Drifter. Love me a good Mole Drifter. Soul Flayer's not bad. Rep Decay, Prismari Command. I'm debating if I want the Thoughtsies after the fact. I'm obviously going to keep the Soul Flayer. I'm just wondering if do I want a Thoughtsies the turn after. I think I do, right? So we bin the Mana Confluence, top the Flayer, then draw the Thoughtsies after. I think I like that. Yeah, let's do it this way. And then I can go Thoughtsy, Soul Flare, and Hold Up Stub. It's pretty good. At black, 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 Hold Up Stub. My brother in Christ. Does that beat? Does that doesn't beat Satalpa, right? What can they get? Uh, nothing. They can get Thoughtsies, I guess. But Replica doesn't beat it. Command doesn't beat it. I'll just take Niv, right? Just take Niv. Satalpa attracts a. Uh... All right, how do you beat this? Go. 4-4, four, four, Death Touch, Double Strike, Flying Indestructible, Lifelink, Trample, Vigilance. Claudio, can Niv out this? <laughs> Claudio's in chat, so... <laughs> Halo Forager, you got it. We see a new Niv yet? No, no, not yet, not yet. Claudio says easily. Okay, well, if they're going to take my stub, I'll just let them lose two life. Uh, not with this hand, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> this hand is not going to out it. And we're drawing Thoughtseize, which is pretty good. Okay, that's fine. Because Mari Command, their, their cards in hand don't really do that much. So I am A-OK -okay with this. All right, you figure it out. Mm -mm. This is just lethal, right? Yeah, 8 minus 2 is 6. I do currently have lethal. I believe they are dead. That's a nice looking 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> Alright, first strike. Regular combat damage. Alright, cool. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. What was that, what was that Claudio? I thought it was easy to out a 4-4 four, four <laughs> flying double strike, vigilance trample, indestructible, lifelink death touch. I thought it was easy. You lied to me. I know, they probably have a lot of bounds. Yeah, that is fair. I was mostly joking. I know, it's hard for Twitch chat to, like, understand when I'm joking, but... All right, Thoughtsy's good. Gust, good. Yeah, only Claudio could win. Push bad, needle bad. Uh, maybe Kaido, maybe Shieldred, maybe Glissa for, like, the grindy package. Trophy's bad. I think Trophy's bad. And I think Ray's bad. Uh, the question is, what do we cut? Can trim on otherworldly gaze. Can trim as a talpa. Can maybe no. I kind of like scavengers. So they're gonna go heavy on like the slaughter games type effects. I don't know. They don't play rest in peace, do they? You could just not bring in the grindy stuff, or I could just cut all the gazes and bring in like. I'm not even sure I like shielded against them. What if I just brought in glisses? Let's try this. I guess shielded does trade with with uh, niv, so it's not the end of the world. This hand's good. I hope they play Rip on too. <laughs> please play Rest in Peace. Please. Damn it. I even founding here? I guess I do. Just mill. 
try and find a Thoughtseize. Like, what could they cast next turn, next turn that I really care about? Oh, well, they can cast a 4-drop, I guess. Did find a Thoughtseize. Pretty good. So now we can actually Thoughtseize and play a Delve creature. I like that. That's a good turn. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, Thoughtseize you. What you got? Growth Spiral, Bring to Light. Alright, well. Uh, the question is, do we tap out? They're getting, they're getting two looks. I mean, there's no point in holding up a, a, on, you know what I mean, not turned on stub anyways, so. I guess it's fine. Yeah, fuck it. Because they have the mana, like, even if they hit bring to light, they have the mana to pay for the stub, so I can't stub bring to light anyways. What the hell is that, Connor? Has a scavenger done anything all? It, the scavenger has actually been really good. I've been pretty impressed with it. Well, that's uh, that's that's a pretty good draw step. It's not a bad one, chap. I would say that that qualifies as a good draw. Yeah, is that good? <laughs> is that is that good? <laughs> all right, instant sorcery. Uh, creature. I'll land, I guess. Uh, go. No, it doesn't enter as a 3-3, because if the trigger goes in the stack, so if you play a scavenger and you put the trigger on the stack, they can still stomp it in response if they have mana up. So it is it is a little sketchy sometimes. I do not care about that. No, I know that, Vinny. I know. I know. Um, This is main phase, right? Just in case... Um, so I think they're drawing dead, right? Because I gust the Clothis draw step and then have stub up. Eh, theoretically, they could niv me, but I think that's the only card they could draw. So this is maybe a little aggressive if they if they drew niv, because I can't stub niv. But cool. All right, three one prediction chat, or four one prediction. Good. 3-3 three, three Flapper, yes. Draw green again. Okay, not exactly what I'm looking for. Showing up at the wrong time. Oh, I like that. That's good for me. Turn 2 Tessiger? Not anymore. I, I think I have to stop the Cura. That is also a pretty good draw. Just take Karn, right? We could beat this hand. What is the green command? I think it's mono green, all one word. Oh. Okay, then. Uh, Well, let's graveyard all three. This might be good. Might be chilling. Oh, mono G. Sorry, mono G, I think is what it is. Yeah, there it is. Mono G. Do we scavenger or do we Tassiger gaze? I think we scavenger, right? Just make a 3-3 three, three with all those keywords. Races them pretty pretty quickly, right? Fuck it. Let's try it out. See what happens. I came here to cast new cards, you know. Go. Also, if we mill it at Traxa, then we just have like, you know, we've uh, we've assembled Voltron at that point. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, they're hellbent. Cool. I think I'm going to upkeep Gaze. Because I can also find Neoform. Okay. Uh, I'll keep the stub, I think. We'll just go play Odawara, go to combat, attack, exile. It doesn't matter what we exile, right? Sure, this. Take 8, go to 12. Next turn, we have 10. Then we can go Tassiger, hold up Stub, and Gaze. Gaze again before Trigger. Well, I kind of want to... I might want to hold up Stub, right? For stuff for reasons like this. You know what I mean? That's why I wanted to hold up Stub. Oh, sweet. All right. What did we do against Green the last time? We boarded in Needle, Gust. I think we said no Fatal Push, yes Thoughtseize. And I think this was it, right? Just these four. And I think we cut, like, 
two gays, a founding, and a scavengers. Is that what we did? Does that sound right? I don't actually know if you want Assassin's Trophy, because the, the, here's the problem with Trophy. Their most important card is Karn, but the reason that the Karn is their most important card is because they get Tormod's Crypt. And Assassin's Trophy is not really a good answer to Tormod's Crypt. Like, you'd much rather have Stub, Thoughtseize, or Needle. And, like, once they get Crypt, it's always going to buy them a turn to get the, the untapped Karn, and it's like, you know, you Trophy their Karn, but they Crypt you anyway, so it's still a time walk. It's, it's kind of tough. For this matchup, I think Karn is. Like, Flare seems kind of off. Do you think that Flare is worse than Scavenger? We could keep in all four Scavengers. Or do you want to keep in the Founding, just to, for, like, consistency purposes? Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm cool with that. I think I'm down with three of each. Uh, the sand's weird. And by weird, I think it's bad. It's obviously only a one-lander with... Yeah, there's no cantrips. We can't keep this. Um, I mean, better, I guess, right? Not a lot better, but better. Keepable. A draw. <laughs> Pithic Needle for Landmark Chad. The ultimate Chad maneuver. How is Rakdos? Uh, I haven't played it yet, I'm not sure. Probably not favored. Alright, please don't draw Karn, please don't draw Karn, please don't draw Karn, please don't draw Karn, please don't draw Karn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, chat. <clears throat> oh, okay. Why didn't they attack with Elf? They drew another Elf, sure. Okay, Delph Creature. Did not hit a Delph Creature. That is unfortunate. Uh, let's take Shores. Ah, uh, okay. That's not bad. Guess we will cast that. It's better than nothing. Looks like game three inbound. Ah, uh, you never know. If they brick, we can race with Scavengers. What's good against Rakdos? I mean, if you look at the sideboard, we have some, like, we have this these types of cards against Rakdos, like the Glissas, the Shieldreds, like these types of grindy cards. Those That's the stuff you want against Rakdos. They draw Storm. I could take eight, but, like, I'm going to have to block next turn anyways, right? Yeah. I think they probably drew Storm, but I have to block next turn regardless. Oh, okay. At nine. <laughs> nice draw. Uh, okay, so I'm actually gonna go exile their calf because if they put Karn on top, I could just needle, which is nice. Upkeep gaze is bad if I draw a delve creature, so I don't think I should have. No, if I, I just want to draw a delve creature and just go delve creature neoform. Upkeep gaze is bad. They're not blocking. Huh. Put nine neoform twice. It doesn't get me anywhere. You can only get exactly plus one. So you'd have to get a four and a five. No, 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 no. Neoform is exactly plus one. So I, I don't have four drops in my deck. Do I even play the Needle? I guess I have to because of Karn, right? They could draw Karn. Yeah, I have to play the Needle. And then play this tapped. Hold up Gaze. Atraxa Itali split. No, Atraxa is too important, especially with the keywords on Scavengers. Like, Atraxa has very good keywords for scavengers. Shoving. I guess I have to trade with the Cav, or block the Cav. Yeah, I think I gotta block the Cav. I mean, they don't have anything good to put back on top anyways, because I have Karn Needled, so... So we got a 3, they can make another 4-4. Four, four. We kind of have to hit uh, a Delve Creature, or if we mill Atraxa off of the Gaze, we can gain a bunch of life with the scavengers. I've thought about playing a Shieldred to be able to Neoform, but, like, I don't think I would want to Neoform the Scavengers into a Shieldred anyways here, right? Okay, Atraxa or Delve Creature. I guess that's five more looks at Atraxa specifically, right? I could also take Gust. Wait, Gust is great, right? Because I attack them for 10, they go to 2, they go end of turn, sack, land to make a 4-4, four, four. then they go shove everything, I block 1, gust the other, take 2, go to 1, and then I have lethal, right? And they have a Kiora on top. Or wait, did they choose not to use the ability? Yeah, I think they chose not to use it. Did they? Did they have 2 Kioras in the graveyard? No, I, th I don't think they used it, because the Kiora's still here. 
Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna top the gust regardless. I think this is good enough. I think this is good enough. Um uh, sure. Alright, take ten. Cab is in the graveyard. Yeah, well what I'm what we're saying is that we don't know if they targeted the cure. I don't think they did. Yeah, I think we got there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have to exile Cav to get the trigger. Okay, I got it. Okay. Nice. Nice little 4 1. Not too bad. This deck's gas. I kind of want to play. I, I want to run it back. We can make some changes, but this deck is super sick. Definitely want to run this one back. This deck is hot. All right, let's open the chess. Got absolutely nothing. Cool. 